Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to design a business card. I will also provide you the template with this business card. You can find the download in the description of the video. If you usually work with web design and you do not print your work, you don't really care about the resolution that much or the color mode. Because when you have to print something, you have to know that the resolution should be 300 and the color mode should be SMIC. You need the SMIC and not the RGB color selected because when you print there are four colors involved cyan magenta yellow and black which is also known as key another thing that you have to take care because now we are talking about a business card for the european version usually the size of the business card is nine by five centimeters but now when you think about printing it you have to have a safe area and another area that will be left out when the business card is cut so let's make our document bigger with six millimeters on each side create your document using 96 millimeters and 56 millimeters now just create a new layer go to pen or press p click outside the area and then click and drag a point another one another one outside and just close the shape if you don't see this as a shape and you see it as a pixel is because here on top you have the path selected so be sure that you have the shape selected because if i double click on the shape i can always change the color duplicate this layer two times ctrl command j two times now i have three shapes the first one on top i'm going to fill it with white just double click and choose white the second one i'm going to leave it like that and the third one i'm going to double click and choose this orange color or any color that you prefer now hold shift click on those two colored layers and press ctrl or command t and just hold alt or option and make them bigger all right now press enter and choose the first one below the orange one and move it a bit to the top now press again ctrl or command t to get the transformation tool and just rotate it a bit to the right clockwise now i'm going to add a background image I'm going to use this building glass window. I'll provide a link for it in the description of the video. Just drag it inside your document. And because it's too big, I'm going to press again Ctrl or Command T and make it smaller, 20%, and drag it where you want it to be. When you finish, just press Enter. Now I'm going to add a layer mask. Just press on the layer mask here below and choose the brush tool or press the letter b be sure that you have black selected now i'm going to paint on top of it and i'll make this layer a bit transparent after you finish just hold shift and click on last and the first layer and i'm going to add everything into a group i'm going to name this group by double click on it and i call it background because we want to print this business card you have to know that there will be a safe area for the background and the safe area for the text because we have the ruler in photoshop we can uh, use a guide to help us to know where the background safe area is and also where the text safe area is so just drag a guide to three millimeters to each side so to the right it will be 93 millimeters to the top three millimeters and to the bottom it will be 53 millimeters so this area it will be the safe area for the background so what's outside this area it will be cut when they will actually cut the business card now let's add the safe area for the text to be so drag another guide to six millimeters so we're gonna add another three millimeters so to the top again six millimeters and to the side it'd be 90 millimeters and down it'd be 50 millimeters so inside this area we can use our text if you have text outside this area when they will cut the business card I'm afraid that the text will be lost so be sure that your text is just inside this area so now let's add the logo and your 
company details. I have a logo that I'm going to use for this example. I'm going to drag it inside our document, press Ctrl or Command T again and just make it smaller. Now let's add the company name. Of course you can add your own company name. Just press T and uh, let's make it uh, 10 points and write your company name. All right, let's change the color to black and the name I'll use a light color, a gray one. Now I want to align also the logo horizontally with the name. Hold shift, click and have both layers selected. And now on the top you can use the horizontal alignment and just drag it where you want it to be. And I'm going to write something about the company. Of course you can write anything that you prefer about your own company. I'm going to use all caps and make it smaller around six points. I'm going to use the same lighter color like the company name. Let's deselect all caps and write your own name. Let's make it bigger around nine and just select it with another color. Let's say something like that. And I'm going to change the font to a thicker font, something like that. Now let's add a title to your name. Let's say designer. Let's change the color to this orange color and make it smaller and place it here to the right. Now let's add a phone number and a website. Of course you can use your own phone number and your own website. So if you want to have the same distance between all those three layers, just hold shift and select all three layers and then check this icon to have the same distance between all of them. Okay, so we finish the tutorial for today. Don't forget about the safe area for the text. So when you do a business card, for example, keep in mind that you have to have all your text inside this area and the background can be bigger than your text area, something like that with three millimeters bigger. So when they will cut the business card, they won't cut the text, they can cut the background, but the text will be still visible. If you deselect by pressing Ctrl Command H, you can actually see how the business card would look like. So this is the tutorial for today. If you like my work, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. <music>